A couple of these things need to be unwrapped, but. When he gets shocked, he'll learn, I guess. Yeah, That's how the other animals learn. Here comes our pig roaster tank for the springtime. Gonna invite the old neighborhood over to the homestead on one of the pigs. Gary had an old oil tank. 25 bucks I paid him. Now comes the work of trying to modify it this winter. Got to cut it in half. Cut out a door at the bottom to feed a fire or put propane in. And then prop it up somehow on the ground. And then figure out a way to support the pig inside there above the fire. Here she comes. 250 gallon, I think he said. See the smoke coming out. I've been cutting her with the angle grinder, working a lot better and faster than I thought it would. At first I came at it from the outside, that was slow going. Then I decided to just score it so I could see my line good and it wanted to race. Then I just stuck the angle grinder in the corner and slowly fed it along. They just think you're yummy to want some little nibbles. No, this is my foot. This is my foot. Okay. Okay, this is my foot. They just want to taste you. Let me see. Are you good? Let me taste. Ooh, you are pretty sweet. I see what they like. Oh, let's see. They sure love a new straw bale. bought this forney easy weld I forget a lot maybe 230 bucks or something i guess it's a stick welder and an arc welder arc uh, tig i'm doing stick welding i'm going to try to tell my, teach myself how to do it to put some pieces on my pig smoker i've got it plugged in set up turned on i've got the stick electrode in the electrode holder. Time to put my helmet on and see if it works or if I know how to make it work. Watching YouTube videos and reading the directions. You put one of these angle iron pieces of bed frame on the edge here. I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm going to be real cool looking in this. I think about adjusting it. On sale for 20 bucks. Old Bart. Let's see, I don't even know how to do this. Well, that adjusts like that. I got a big melon, I think. There we go. That one. So, what I 
guess. Well, I watched another video and it seemed like I'm doing it sort of right, but nothing sparked or happened when I touched it to the metal. Weird. Turn it back on. Try it again, I guess. Maybe I didn't have this loaded right. I was told to wear full covering, so it's kind of hot in here with the wood stove going, but I don't want something to burn through my shirt, I guess. I don't have actual lighting welding gloves. Just ear spring gloves, so hopefully they work. Don't go have no hospital tonight. Nothing's happening. So I can't see what I'm doing through this damn thing. I'm assuming it all lights up. When I get an arc or a spark or whatever the hell you're supposed to get. Maybe I don't have a good ground. Because it's rusty metal. Put it on here maybe. Okay, that's my work piece. I have the incorrect voltage. It does recommend a 30 amp circuit. I'm on a 15, I believe. Maybe that's why. Hmm. So as it turns out, I'm really smart. I have my neighbor over who's a welder. I was missing only one minor detail. This particular welder stick slash TIG arc. Well, I had the switch set to TIG rather than switch. That was as simple as that. I swear the manual said switch it to the left, but apparently it was right. Let's try this again. This thing's way out of square, but don't worry about that later. Welding is hard. I decided to go ahead and just screw the bed frame on. I got two of the sides. Now I got to square it up, put the ends in. Then I will still see if I can weld that little piece on the top because I don't need two vents. It really lost its shape when I cut the top off. 
got those two ends secured and they're fairly square. The guy in the middle was supposed to be my hog roast. But since that one I sold to my buddy was over 300 pounds hanging. I think he's too big, especially if I'd want to have an indirect fire, indirect heat. I'm afraid I'll light the pig on fire. So I'm trying to decide if I want to buy one. Or if this guy hurries up and gets her pregnant, maybe I could use him, hoping that he doesn't have a boar off flavor. Got the handle on. Temp gauge from Amazon for about 10 bucks. Just drill the hole. It's very rough. <laughs> As you can see, even with the ratchet strap, I could not get it to square up. I don't know why. And I just cut that out for putting heat in and stoking the fire. Got two of the three hinges on. I need to buy another big one. That's what I mean, what caliber. Uh -huh. It looks bigger than a 22. Pigalow. Hmm. I got a lot hotter that time. It'll be fun. I really want to get the guts out. It's not coming out good with the scalding, so I started burning it with a torch. That seems to work. It's going to take a long time. There's the, want to get the guts out. There's the party burn right there. Pull it down. There. I burned it and then scraped it, but. It's a pain in the butt. Pain in the keister. You're a keister. 
Well, this knife isn't that sharp, is it? Like plaster. I'm used to doing this on the ground with a deer. But I figure all the guts will fall out nice. Keeps the dirt out of it. He's trying to cut the guts. Should have sharpened this knife first. I wasn't smart enough to think of that. You know the bit, so we got this Just pig from Farmer knife. Phil. Ours are too fat. Yeah, and that one of our pigs is gonna have babies, maybe. Hopefully. Mama pig is your name. Big mama. And the other one's daddy. But it's way too small. Daddy pig's probably about the size of this one, but. I doubt it. You don't think so? Or wait, wait, I can hear him snorting. Yeah. Sorry guys, we got one of your cousins. We're gonna get you guys in a long time. What is all that stuff you're getting? Where's this? Got. Wait, what is there poop you get out? Yeah, hopefully you don't take it out of where it's in. Keep it in the intestines where it's at. As soon as you get on the meat. Did you fire? No, the pig did, I think. Really? <laughs> it's just the sound of the guts, I guess. Coming out. What is all that stuff? Guts, man. Like what? Every animal, you have them in you, too. That um, white stuff? Those are intestines. I have all that white stuff in me. <laughs> Ew, guys, that's gross. I don't know why it didn't work. Smoking and heating. If I torch the whole thing, we'll order pizza. We just flipped him over. Now he's taking a nap. He's sunbathing. He's tanning. Why does it look like that, Dad? Sorry, guy. I'm gonna add some some good goodness to the inside. Cause. Bend over, Charlie, for your injection. Yeah, right. Is it hard to do? In each quarter. Can I do one? Not exciting. I mean, I just want to try it. <laughs> Here's what's left. The front didn't cook evenly, so I left it on overnight again. It's been on like 36 hours. Finished the cutting up this morning. But it was really good. The back was real delicious from the marinade. And slow cooking it I'm gonna do it again I think I need another vent for circulation but uh that's a wrap <laughs>